الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين وخاتم النبيين سيدنا محمد عليه أفضل الصلاة وتم التسليم. My brothers and sisters, welcome to Ikna Mass Convention 42. It's an honor to really host you to this convention. And I hope and pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you are really having a wonderful time. On behalf of the organizations we represent, the teams that we lead, we are really honored that you're here tonight. In one of the recent visits, somebody asked me, they said, so what is ikna? Ikna, isna is the same thing. And I wanted to really take some time in talking about our mission. What is ikna? What is our mission? What do we stand for? So in the next few minutes that I have with you, inshallah, I would like to kind of share with you some some basic understanding. And I know a lot of you may already know, but it's really helpful sometimes to people to understand that to the core. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلْتَكُنْ مِنْكُمْ أُمَّةٌ يَدْعُونَ إِلَى الْخَيْرِ وَلْتَكُنْ مِنْكُمْ أُمَّةٌ يَدْعُونَ إِلَى الْخَيْرِ وَيَأْمُرُونَ بِالْمَعْرُوفِ وَيَنْهَوْنَ عَنِ الْمُنْكَرِ وَأُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْمُفْلِحُونَ it's a command from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's a command that there must be from among you a group of people who call what is to call towards what is good, to forbid what is evil. And this is what we feel in the membership of ICNA, this is the calling that the membership and the founders of this organization and this movement really felt this calling. They felt that this is a direct command from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that there must be that group of people. And how can we do that? And the best way we all know of, according to the hadith of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Yadullahi ala al-jama'ah, we felt it is important, it's going to be extremely beneficial to form a, an organization, a movement, a group of people that will call in this land towards the deen of Allah. This is the basic core driving force behind our work, my brothers and sisters. We feel that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala deputed a, the human being on the face of this earth and they wa he wanted them to do things in a certain way. We feel we want to represent that understanding. We want to call mankind and we want to be worried about the mankind in the same way Quran addresses the Prophet when he says, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is consoling the Prophet. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He's asking him, he's saying to him, you're going to kill yourself. You're going to kill yourself if these people around you are not going to accept. My brothers and sisters, we feel it is a message that we, as Islamic Circle of North America, as the Muslim community in North America, as all the organizations that are really working for the betterment of society to call towards this word of Allah. This is the basic driving force. Now, in terms of the vision of ICNA, how would I would say, how would explain that to you? It's very simple. It's very simple and I want everyone here tonight to really memorize this and remember it, it's very easy to explain to everyone. Number one, 
And it's a continuation if you're present in the khutbah yesterday. It's a continuation of that concept we talked about. It is the seeking of the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's plain and simple. We want our God, our Allah, our Lord, our Creator, our Sustainer to be happy with us. That's it. So the question becomes, well, how do you do that? How do you make your Lord happy? Where do you figure that out? Very simple. The core principles we feel is the driving force for ICNA are two. I'm sure you guessed it. Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Wasallam. So that was the second point. The first one was to please Allah, and the second one was, well, how to please Him based on the guidance from Quran and Sunnah. Plain and simple. So what is the third one? The third one is what we feel is once you have understood this guidance, once you have understood the message, well, someone's going to have to act upon it. If you understood the message in the right way, you are going to act upon it. You are going to be moving. You cannot remain stagnant at that point. You will not accept the status quo. You are not going to be stationary. You're not going to say, this is someone else's job. Someone else is going to take care of that. No, my brothers and sisters, we talked about this in the khutbah. When those young men in Surah Al-Kahf knew what was it about, what, they did, what, were, what was the reaction? They stood up. The same way we feel as a body of Muslims, as an organization, we must move. That's why we want to call ourselves a movement, a movement that really leads people in a certain direction. And that direction is the pleasure of Allah. It's very simple, my brothers and sisters. So, I want to very quickly share with you, <clears throat> once you have achieved that determination, once you are convinced of this simple methodology, this concept of inviting mankind towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you are going to do something about it. So what was our action? ICNA and its founders and this organization and this movement really spun a number of projects. We spun projects such as when we looked at the ayah of Quran, there is a direct command for da'wah. And we launched Why Islam and Gained Peace. When we read the ayah, these believers, what is their action? What, are, what do they do? They feed. They feed the hungry. They feed the destitute. They feed the orphans. And they are feeding him for no other reason but the pressure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We formed ICNA Relief for domestic relief work. We formed Helping Hand for international relief. When we read the ayah of Quran, مَثَلُ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ فِي تَوَادُّهِمْ وَتَرَاحُمِهِمْ وَتَعَاطُفِهِمْ كَالْجَسَدِ الْوَاحِدِ This unity that brings human beings together. This unity that really we as believers must feel when one part of the body is aching, the other part reacts to it. This is what's driving us towards helping our brothers and sisters in all parts of the world. When we read the ayah, Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu kunu qawwamina bil qist. What do we do? We are forming 
ICNA, Council for Social Justice. You have the responsibility to ensure that justice prevails in society. All kinds of justice, economic justice, financial justice, human justice, you name it. We feel as the Council for Social Justice, we are going to stand up for the rights of human beings around us, regardless of race, color, and religion. When we read the ayah of Quran, Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu, qu anfusakum wa ahlikum nara. We understand that as a command. You need to protect yourself and your family. And that's why we launched projects such as MCNA, Muslim Children of North America. We launched products such as Young Muslims for Brothers and Sisters. Ikna Sisters is another division of ICNA that is really working very hard to bring understanding of the religion, understanding of the faith and the, and the, and the way of life. My brothers and sisters, we feel as a family, as, is, as a community of believers, together this mission is going to be easy. So I, in conclusion, I want to, my brothers and sisters, invite you. I want to invite you to become members. I want to invite you to become volunteers. I want to invite you, if you agree with this three-step simple process, please join us. Please assist us with your time, with your skills. Please assist us financially. Please assist us with your dua. Never underestimate the power of dua, my brothers and sisters. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if a dua of a single person in this gathering is accepted, wallahi, we will have no worries. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless those who have worked so hard to bring this conference uh, together. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless you and your families. We thank you very much for your time. Wa jazakumullahu khayran. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.